So what do Bill Gates, Leonardo DiCaprio, Cameron Diaz, and Kanye West all have in common? Well, hella big bank account balances and choosing Belize as their vacation destination. So whether it's Bill pulling up in his super yacht or Leo literally buying a private island or Kanye just simply enjoying all the incredible country has to offer. So we've made 56 travel guides all around the world over the last seven years. And in that time, we've created three no budget, no limit, luxury edition exclusively for established and iconic locations around the world, like in London, Miami, and Bali. Well, guess what? I've never been a fan of rules. And if there's one thing that's hit me over the head like a hammer over this past year, it's that our health, life, and time on this earth are not guaranteed. So you better believe that with the help of some new friends, we set out to make the movie that we couldn't find on this hidden gem by sharing some of the most unique, over the top, intimate experience I've ever had on this earth. And we had the privilege of experiencing sushi prepared by the country's top chef on a deserted island with amazing friends, a gorgeous fire that literally lit the skies, a property nestled in the jungle with jaguars. And it's one of the best properties I've ever stayed at in my entire life. $25,000 helicopter trip around the island, which was so beautiful, it literally brought one of our team members to tears. Belize might just be the hidden gem of Central America. San Pedro is the most popular tourist destination in Belize. So San Pedro to Belize is like what LA is to California. You know, it's full of life, energy, beautiful people, and a lively community. One thing that made our trip truly special were the connections, and it all started with a DM. I put a video on Instagram saying, yo, we're looking to connect with people who can make our dream of creating this never been done before trip into a reality. So I told Will and the boys what we were looking to do, and they said, say less. I was like, man, I've heard that before. But Will had been watching Passport Heavy videos for the last four years, so he had an idea of our vision and what we were looking to create. So before this episode starts, I have a small favor to ask from you. So 86% of the people who have viewed our content over the last 30 days are not subscribed. And I want to change that. So if you've received any value from our videos, you know, if it's planning a trip or just changing the perception of how you view a place, I would love for you to subscribe because that will enable us to bring you more amazing content from all over the world. But anyways, thank you and enjoy the episode. So first task I mentioned was wanting to have a dinner on a private island. He said, don't worry, I got a boat to get us there and we could go spear fishing and I can bring you the top sushi chef in the country, Toshi, to whip up an exclusive meal for us. And this was starting to sound a little bit interesting now. And most of my friends that I made during my trip lived in San Pedro. So I wanted them to come along for the adventure and enjoy the experience too. And when I pulled up, I was literally in awe because of the natural, untouched beauty that exists there. So 
So one of the most unique dining experiences I've ever had. So we have the top sushi chef in the whole country of Belize cooking us up dinner right over there, private beach. I know it's super windy. And so we took off the drinks, we took off the fish that we literally caught fresh a couple hours ago. And we're about to have an amazing dinner while watching sunset. These are these experiences that I only can dream about in the most unique locations. Let's go get dinner. So Toshi paired with Michaela on a private island equals perfection. And if you haven't been to Toshi's amazing restaurant, let Will tell you which sushi you should get when you're there. This roll right here, the magical one with the snapper, the avocado, and of course the truffle on top. That's my roll on the menu. When you go to the restaurant, you gotta try it. Toshi, what's the number one seller right now? Mitchell roll. It's this hey! one. <laughs> I'm just a dude in a high. <laughs> At this table in Belize, on a beach with Nate, Jabril, Will, and a squad. I'm just a dude in his hat, just trying to eat some sushi. On the beach, believe me, it's breezy. So come and chill in Belize. Now let me finish my sushi. So in San Pedro, you might be wondering, where's the best place to stay if money's no object? So right now, the best hotel experience that you can have is the Alaya. It's brand new, it's fresh, modern, A1 construction and design. And they got these really nice two and three bedroom, oceanfront, small villas, which you have to check out. Now in Mahogany Bay, they're finishing up some of the most over-the-top villas that will remind you of the villa that I have at the end of this movie. So after spending 34 days in Belize, we figured out how to enjoy this country to the fullest. So we put together one of the most comprehensive guides the country has ever seen. So if you have a hundred dollar a night budget or you spending five grand a night, you have the private chef or you just want to figure out the best restaurant. We put a link in the description for you to have the best possible trip for your budget. But anyways, let's get back to it. Then the next day, some of my most enjoyable moments on this earth is when I have good people around, ocean views, good food, and of course, some good drinks. I told Will, he said, I got the spot for you. I can do this guy the most humble introduction. Dean of three culinary schools in the US said, hey, I wanna live out my passion. I'm tired of teaching these kids. Loved it, <laughs> but he said, I wanna go to the beach. And that's how you've ended up here. And then another thing, he owns, correct me if I'm wrong, the number one restaurant rated on TripAdvisor. That is correct, correct. that is correct, What yes. kind of food? Uh, French uh, with a Mediterranean influence. So we do a lot of uh, Moroccan, Italian, Spanish uh, flavor and classic French dishes. All right, today we're gonna do completely tropical. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, uh, classic ceviche with uh, con tortillas. And after that, I'm doing kind of an Asian tropical uh, style salmon with uh, green papaya and uh, green mango salsa. Uh, kind of a slaw more and uh, with the uh, mint vinaigrette. And after that, we have a little French pastries to finish the uh, afternoon at these beautiful villas uh, right on the beach. 
And if you're wondering about this villa, this ain't no 40K land. The land of this villa is 3 million alone. But don't worry, I got a whole video coming about this property. It's some over the top ball shit that you can just drink. I can't afford this shit either. And then we found out Will isn't just an agent with an incredible team. He is literally the number three Remax agent worldwide and number one in Belize. And I can feel the energy from the jump. He didn't need anything from us. He just wanted to have a good time with the Passport Heavy crew, and we loved it. So when I posted well on my IG, I had people hitting me up. Man, I've bought a crib down there. I've bought land with Will. I'm so happy. And then I was like, I can see why. They deliver on what they say they're gonna do. I know for me, Belize has become my Bali on this side of the world, right? But if you wanna know more about real estate and just the country in general, Will has a whole YouTube channel where literally all this man talks about is Belize. And then I also had Daryl from Atlanta hit me up in my DMs and was like, yo bro, I bought some land out in Secret Beach and he's replicating his treehouse project that he has in Atlanta out there in the beach. And I also met this beautiful sister when I was coming out of the office and she told me, don't worry about me, I've already bought land. I'm closing my friends and family so we can all enjoy down here as a family. So in the last decade, literally lots in Secret Beach have gone from 5K to 40K. And I see no signs of slowing down. I wouldn't be surprised if lots go for 300K plus in the next two decades, based on what I know. So when it comes to adventure, I am all about it. And the Blue Hole is without a doubt, probably the most famous landmark in Belize. So if you're brave enough and you can dive and explore the depth of the Blue Hole, which is incredible. But if diving ain't your thing, and you have the opportunity to see the blue hole from a different perspective, from a chopper, when you're in the water, you don't get to see how amazing it is from the air. And the ride to the blue hole was actually more impressive to me than the actual blue hole itself. Start to finish, you are literally picking up your jaw from the ocean floor. So cigars are synonymous with luxury. And I had the opportunity to run into one of the finest cigar makers in the world, Saul. And you can't buy these in the US, Canada, UK. They have brands like that big name, Cohiba, and that's the most famous cigar in the world. Yeah. And it is a good cigar. It comes in various leaves, and we sell a lot of it, mostly to US customers looking to try their first Cuban. But a lot of people who have tried a Cuban cigar prefer these Belizean specialties. My work is blending some of the best leaves of the region. Here we have leaves from Ecuador, Nicaragua, Cuban seed from Honduras, double wrappers here, which include leaves from all over the region. What, what inspires you? Why not be a doctor, a farmer? Why, why cigars? What inspires you? Demand. <laughs> We wanted to switch it up a bit because Belize is not just known for their world-class beaches. And we opted for the best jungle villa in the country. We stayed at the Valley Stream Private Eden, a one-of-a-kind Time Magazine top 100 property in the world. Situated on a 150-acre private farm and jungle all to yourself, an over-the-top staff, and most guests don't even arrive by car. Chopper, baby! You know, this is a two-bedroom villa, honestly, 
one of a kind service is truly what sets this place apart 24 hours a day your wish is their command and i would really recommend staying at least three days to take in the full experience and this is just a few of my highlights at the property So you can take an ATV golf buggy by yourself, or you can have the staff come with you so you can learn the trails. They do have wild Jaguars on the property, but they're super rare to spot, but you can go around and explore by yourself if you want. And a lot of what you eat for dinner is fresh, straight from the farm to the table. So normally my water is straight from Whole Foods, bro. And the vibes for dinner with the full moon, I mean, it just was really spiritual. It's just hard not to be in a good mood when you are here. So even though we spent a lot of time at the villa and didn't want to leave, we did venture out one night and we opted to have a private dinner over at the Sleeping Giant. The view and the aura was out of this world. And you have to book it way in advance because they literally bring staff just for you and your party. And doing it at sunset is unbelievable. But make sure you hurry because they are turning it into a small hilltop restaurant. And so it won't be a one of one experience like that you're currently viewing. It's definitely the perfect date night spot. So one of my favorite experiences is something that literally everyone can do. And so they have this beautiful island called South Key. It's about 30 minutes away from Hopkins. And this is a peaceful, get away from everything, not a worry in the world type of place. And when you spend time on an island like this, away from everything, you know why the good vibes, hammocks, drinking fresh cocoa, reading books, it's just something everyone truly needs to feel in life. They always say God is not building more land. And when you experience something like this, you understand when you're 90 minutes away from Miami, two hours from Texas, and you have an English speaking country, you really start to understand that it's truly 
one of the last hidden gems in this region of the world. And the thing is, it's not quite there yet when it comes to everything, but it is growing fast. I mean, there's so much opportunity for growth, right? And there's a reason that the Four Seasons has broke ground on their flagship property of the Americas, the only overwater bungalows in the Western Hemisphere from their brand. Basically, picture Bora Bora, they literally bought an island out here to develop this one-of-a-kind vision. And now you don't have to fly across the world for this. The thing is, not everybody's gonna be staying at the Four Seasons, and that's why we put together the most over-the-top A through Z guide, so no matter what your budget is, you can enjoy the lease to the fullest. Link in the description, and thank me later as you enjoy the lease as much as we have. But let's switch it up for a bit. I love vibe. So one of the coolest islands around is definitely Key Cocker. You know, it's not known for its lux, but it's known for the vibes. And they haven't developed all of the island yet. We've done it all with the private villas and everything, but I wanted to feel a little energy. So we decided to stay at the Blue Zen. Now that's definitely Lux though. <laughs> and we opted for the penthouse, which is crazy. the 360 view at sunset, and then the restaurant there, Lotus by Habanero, they came all the way through for quite a few nights. We had them bringing up food and drinks, and we just vibed and had moments and memories for life. Then the penthouse elevator comes right into the unit. It's huge, everyone's got space, four amazing bedrooms, a kitchen. You just wanna be around there, experiencing it with the people that you love. And one thing that stood out about this property is you can tell everyone at the property cares about the experience. We ran into Perla, the GM. She really took care of us. But the resort, you know, it's just like a nice mix. If you want the private vibe, you can be up in the penthouse, but if you wanna mix and mingle with people downstairs at the bar or by the pool, it's just great. Then just a fun fact about the lease, most people don't know how shallow the reef is. You can literally walk out 100, 200 meters and you're only up to your waist. And being on the water is just a part of Belizean culture. But one thing that's really not down here yet, which I love, is yacht culture. And the reason is, is because the depth of the waters. But they do have some nice catamarans. And really, right out front of Blue Zen, we went out with Wonderlust Tours. And then while talking with the owner, and he was actually telling me a little bit about his life and how he had this big company out in Canada, but he left it because he was like, yo, what am I doing with the life? And you'll hear so many stories like this as you interact and talk with people in Belize. Now he has a catamaran business and a few other things popping off in Belize. This is one of the activities pretty much anyone can do. Thank y'all for choosing beautiful Belize. Beautiful Belize. There's just something so simple about being on the water with good people, sunset and drinks. It will never get old until the day I die. Kikaka is the barefoot culture. So if you wanna feel that no worries, 
type of life. Key Cocker is definitely it. And there's a special treat for you on this island. So Jay Cuss, you might remember, he did a private experience for us on the balcony of our hotel. But you have the opportunity to actually see him currently performing at some local bars and restaurants. It reminds me of when people said they saw Bruno Mars in Hawaii before he blew up. If this is the kind of love that the old folks used to warn me about, man, I'm in trouble. I'm in real big trouble. Someone please call 911. Tell them I have been shot down with a bullet in my heart and it's passing through my soul. Feel my body getting cold, so cold, so cold. So one place I haven't talked about yet, if you love tranquility, water, diving, Placencia might just be the spot for you. This is a bucket list video, right? So I am not apologizing for showing this place because it's simply the best, and I know I've shown it before, but we stayed at the Naya Resort, and this is the most expensive villa in Placencia. I mean, the villa has an elevator inside of the crib. So I've seen documentaries like Planet Earth, and they see places and animals few humans ever will. And it's always inspired me. And then after our first few helicopter rides, I told Gustavo I wanted to see a place few people, if anyone, has ever seen. And he said, I'll have to take you to the jungle for that. in the helicopter for over an hour. So I asked Gustavo what his favorite food was nearby. And he's like, yo, 15 minutes away, they've got wood oven fresh pizza. So he literally radios in for landing clearance. So I'm gonna make you an offer you can refuse. Um, but no, we're actually at Francis Coppola's spot right here in the middle of the jungle. There's a lot of myths of how this place started, but anyways, Let's go get lunch and enjoy. I mean, it was special. We're literally flying over the most remote places in the jungle, and a few minutes later, we're having a few drinks and fresh pizza for a late lunch. So we just finished lunch at Blancano's, an amazing restaurant, literally built in the middle of the jungle. Now we're about to head back on the chopper and have a sunset ride back to the city. Let's go. And I just want to thank the country of Belize for making us all feel 
so welcome, and you should be so proud of the progress your country has made because I can promise you the world wants to come and explore it. So with every movie we make, it's truly a collective. And when visiting any country, what truly makes the experience special is the people of the country. And Belize does not miss, right? When you talk about a country making you feel so welcome, you're like, am I at home already? The beautiful different complexions. And it's one of the most unique countries that I've seen where it's really not segregated. Everyone is really integrated together. And it makes you feel like, wow, I could be a part of this community as well. So I want to really tip my head to every single in Belize for making your country feel so unique in that way. And like I do at the end of every video, I have to give some big shout outs. So Yori, the Haitian filmmaking god who shot this entire project and captured moments that will inspire people to visit this beautiful country for decades to come. Nathan, our general business mind and producer, he is the one who talks to the tourism boards and brands and brings these projects to life. And he's the guy to get in touch with if you're a tourism board or a brand watching. And then Carrie, who you might remember from our Panama video, who literally came all this way to help tell this story and took time away from her amazing ice cream empire. And then Arnold, who gave this movie a feeling with the music score. It's literally half of the video that you don't see, but you feel it. And then Nyla, who's always bringing the good energy and stay tuned, she will be talking more and sharing how women can enjoy the country like they never have before. And much love to Anthony, Evan, Perry, Siomara, and the entire Visit Belize team for giving us the flexibility to tell the story our way and just saying, hey, go do your thing. How can we help you bring your story to life? Oh, and if you want to enjoy Belize as much as we did, what you gonna do? You gonna go click the link in the description and you gonna go get that travel guide so you know everything to do because there's so much that we did in 34 days that we couldn't show you in this video. Anyways, hopefully I'll see you in Belize.